Hello, welcome to Waypoint Survival. Today I want to show you my bushcraft tool roll. Stay tuned. Sometime back I did a video on this tool roll and it's made by a company called Hide and Drink and you can get this off Amazon and this is canvas and leather and it worked pretty well for what I needed but one issue that I had with it was it has these snaps and so you are limited to the size of the tool roll so if I wanted to add some extra tools uh, again I was limited to how far this would go so it's not adjustable at all and so what I was looking for is a tool roll that would you know be a little more adjustable so that I wanted to stick some extra tools in there or if I wanted to take some out uh, it wouldn't be either too loose or too thick for the adjustments so that's something you want to pay attention to when you're buying a tool roll my new tool roll as you have seen in the opening part of the video is again made by hide and drink you can see the logo right there and uh, yeah this is a, a leather one and it does come with a leather tie that wraps around and so it is fully adjustable to either more tools or less and so I really like this I'm gonna open this up and I want to show you what I carry inside I've added some things to it as you may have heard from my last video I was talking about some additions opening this tool roll and looking at what we have here as we roll it open first of all of course is this great bushcraft auger and you've seen this on the video where I demonstrated um, making a bushcraft hammer uh, it just has a screw on uh, kind of a lid that I made out of some birch and that just protects the point from you know damaging anything else if it slides out and and keeps it uh, nice and sharp and what's nice about this particular one is that this hole is sized perfectly it's the same diameter as the drill so whatever you can fit in here will also uh, match this diameter so it's really easy to make projects using this uh, auger and this is a scotch eyed auger so this is pretty neat and you can check the links out on my video if you want to see where you can get this all right so next I have an open L and of course many of you are familiar with the open L knife those are great I also still have in here is the the old timer and this is a very inexpensive knife uh, combination it's made for whittling and it has six different tools on it of uh, different gouges and straight blades on that side and uh, open up this one here and give you a better look of how it all comes together so there are all the tools that are in this particular carving piece I really like this this is very very handy and it's compact and I've done a lot of work with it then of course I carry a carpenter's rule and this is actually from a tool set I got when I was a child and uh, it actually is a full meter uh, 39.37 inches uh, so it, uh, it's very handy for a lot of things and then a carpenter's pencil uh, this is very handy for marking any of my projects then I have a really nice square awl and this is great for drilling holes in bark or punching holes in leather or anything that's large uh, this is a great tool to have and uh, you should always have some sort of an awl with you and this fits that bill very nicely and along with that I also have some 400 grit sandpaper folded up and I use this to sharpen my hook blade and other things this is really great because it it can roll and so you can use it to get to the inside radius of my hook blade knife also I have a DMT diamond sharpener and this is the 600 grit I believe and so that works really well so yeah I carry this of course to sharpen my tools knives whatever I need and that fits in there in this pouch I have a pair of magnifying glasses um, I'm getting to the age now where I need a little bit of help once in a while when I'm doing my work 
And so looking up close and all of that for long periods of time, it's not only protects you from splinters and wood chips, but it also is a help uh, in, like I said, in seeing things up close. And it comes with this nice handy case, which keeps it protected. Of course, the hook blade, which has its own little sheath. And you're familiar with this as a Mora. And I really like using this. I try to keep it razor sharp. And that makes it, of course, a lot more effective cutting tool. Then, of course, many of you are familiar with this. This is for drilling holes. It's quarter inch sized. And uh, this is just an excellent, excellent tool to have with you when you are trying to do bushcraft. And this tool is called a gimlet. And a gimlet is a, just an old fashioned drill. And uh, again, great to have. All right, so some of the newer tools that I've added since the last video is a half inch, just a regular chisel. And of course I keep all of these razor sharp. I've also added this type of chisel here. And this is such an excellent tool. As you can see the, the curve on it and what that's really good for, this is a small hook gouge. And this is great for getting in small and tight places, especially when you're carving cooks. Uh, this is a great tool to use for that. All right, next I have a very large wood gouge, larger diameter here. And this is of course also for cooks and for carving anything you need to hollow out. And then I have a smaller diameter wood gouge that is also curved wood gouge so some of these are antiques and uh, i got these at flea markets and different places but excellent excellent tools all right let's lay them all out so you can see them and get an idea of what all i have and here we have the tools all laid out so you can see them and of course i've already detailed what they are so if you have any other questions or comments make sure and leave them in the comment section below. I'll try to answer them the best I can. But this is the current bushcraft tool roll that I now carry when I'm going out into the woods to practice my bushcraft skills or if I'm going to be making a project. This is James Bender for Waypoint Survival. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Also make sure and check out the links in the description box below. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. We'd really appreciate it. And when you do subscribe, make sure and press that bell button so that you can stay notified of all of our upcoming videos. And we'll talk to you next time. Hello, welcome to Waypoint Survival. Today, I want to show you my Toolcraft Bush Roll.